Hey and welcome to this tutorial on how to export a material model from mCalibration to Abacus. So in this example I'm going to have, uh, show you how you can use experimental data shown here and uh, quickly calibrate the material model and then we will export it to Abacus and show how that works. So let's just quickly uh, calibrate the model. All right, that was really impressive, right? It took less than about three minutes and we got the error down to less than 3%, as you can see by the NMAD fitness value here. So this is now, as you can look carefully, the three-network viscoplastic material model. It's a nonlinear viscoplastic material model that works really well for a lot of different soft polymers and uh, stiff polymers too. Um, so. With this model, we're all set. We want to use this in our cool FE simulation. I'm going to show you how you can export it and use it in your simulations. So that's very easy. Uh, all we need to do is, is to export the parameters into uh, a text file. And the two kinds of formats we can use here. The first one is an INP file format. That's the default choice. I say it like this. And it ends up in a simulation file called simulation.imp. I'm going to export it again as a CA script. So we can see that option as well. So I'm saving that here. And then we're done. We have our material model exported. Um, here are the files to be generated. The IMP file looks like this. You can see that it has the standard abacus commands, as you can see here. If you want to use this file, it's super simple. You just copy the commands into your master IMP file and run it from the command prompt. That works really well. Um, you can also uh, open the script file that we exported, and you can see that it contains Python script commands here that are um, uh, not that useful to look at, but we can use it in Abacus CAE, as I will demonstrate. So I have a CAE window here. Uh, it has already a model in it. It's one big block with a bunch of elements, and I'm going to pull on it in uniaxial tension. You can see that there is already a material model in here, but I want to read in the new material model that we created, this cool new one that looks uh, really, really good. So how do we do this? Well, we can do file, we do uh, run script, and then I select this script file that we exported. Let's take a look, we click OK. And here we have a new material called MCAL material. We can rename it to anything we like. So we have cool new material. Here it is. If you double click on it, you'll see it has a density, a depth bar, and a use of material. This is now the three network viscoplastic material model. Very cool and very accurate for this material as we saw in the calibration. To assign this in CAE, we just have to assign it in our section definition. So we use the cool new material here. We say OK. And we're good to go. We have now created a full simulation file that we can run. So let's actually run it and see what happens when we run it. So that can be useful as well. So I submitted it. It will take a few seconds for it to, to launch. Um, and once it's uh, submitted, we'll see if it switches over to running. And when it's doing that, we're going to open our monitor. We can see how it's going. Um, this is a relatively small simulation, so it shouldn't take too long to run this. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, the simulation has now finished. You can see it took uh, about 150,000 increments uh, to finish this calculation. The one thing I want to point out as we're looking at this job monitor here, that is if you go under the status tab, and you scroll down a little bit here, you can see there are some commands printed into the status file from PolyUmod. So if you use a PolyUmod file um, model in your simulation, you should check that it's actually using PolyUmod. You can see a little bit of information about uh, the PolyUmod status in there. So that, that's a good little hint for you. Um, and uh, if we want to look at the results, you can see that it deformed this cube in a very exciting way, as you can see. It's, 
is a very basic example, but you can see how we could take the information from M calibration, plug it into Abacus, and simulate it very easily using this technique. And that's all I want to show. Thank you.